Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I am super excited to teach you how to create a split page layout for a list section in your Squarespace website. We're going to have a section that has an image on one half and then content on the other, but it'll have those arrows so you can click through and see the next slide available in that list. Super excited about this code, which is listed in the description below, but we've got a couple of key things to change. So let's hop on into my demo site and I'll show you how this works. So here we are in my demo site and I want to mention this code is designed to work on any screen larger than 640 pixels. On a mobile device having a split screen is really difficult to see text or actually use. So we're making sure that this only happens on anything that's larger than mobile. And I also want to mention this is for the banner list section. So if we hop into edit mode, you'll see I've got my list section here. If I click on edit content and select design, I've got the banner slideshow set up here. So this is a banner list section. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to select done and we're going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. You can install this code in a personal plan or a business or a commerce plan using this exact same technique because we're going to isolate this section by its data section ID. Now here's the whole code that's underneath the video in the description below. I'm just going to copy this code and paste it right here into custom CSS and you'll see already some magic is happening here but we're gonna go ahead and click on this, which is a Squarespace block ID Chrome extension. I'll link to this extension below, not affiliated, just a fan. I'm gonna grab the data section ID and turn it off. So this is only going to be applied to this one specific list section. So I'm gonna paste that code right there at the start of all three of these lines. All right, so we pasted it before the text user items list banner slideshow in both of these instances and before the word slides, okay? Cool, so we've got that there. I'll select save, and now we need to refresh this page. Squarespace is going to reload our content and check it out. We get the image on the left and the text on the right, and if I click these arrows, we'll scroll through and see it all. Let's go ahead and go full screen here in this preview. You'll see how this works. The arrows will stay where they were before, and if we get rid of that full screen preview and go down to mobile, you'll see that mobile is going to stay the way that it was designed to, and the text will be on top of the image on mobile. So this is just for the desktop view. Now, really quickly, I do wanna mention, I have the width of the image set to 45%. You can change that number if you want it to be a little smaller, maybe 25%, for example. Adjust that however you see fit. Underneath there, I have the margin left and the width for the slide content. That's all the text and all that stuff. Again, adjust that however you see fit. Maybe change it to margin left 30 and have it really close to the image or 50%. And you can adjust the width here as well. I set it to 35 because I don't want it to run into the arrow. I wanted it to stop before it hit that arrow. But again, adjust that however you see fit. Just leave this line alone. If we remove this, I'll show you what happens. We'll go ahead and select save. Oh, we'll close that bracket. There we go, because this is a mobile one. We'll select save, we'll refresh it. And scrolling back down here, you see how the other image for the next slide peeks through? We don't want that. So we need to leave that last piece of code right here that adds that padding to those slides. Again, we have to select save and refresh it all to see the magic happen. There we go. Now you can see that extra image that was showing up on the side there is gone. So you want to make sure that that last line stays there. Again, you can adjust the width and you can adjust the margin left and the width for the slide content itself. And this entire code is listed in the description below, but I strongly recommend grabbing the data section ID. So you're isolating just the one list section. You can use this free Chrome extension that I'm using here in this tutorial that's also linked in the description below. Not affiliated, just a fan. Now that you know how to work with that code listed in the description below, I hope you're as excited as I am about trying this out on your website. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn something new from me every single week because I post a brand new tutorial every Tuesday. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.